User management defines how roles and privileges allow a user to work within Atomsphere. You can create a new account by simply signing up for a trial account, or your account or partner manager can set up bulk accounts for your company. This is a sample email that tells a new user their login credentials. Once you have Atomsphere access, a role is assigned containing privileges. To help us understand this process, a user corresponds to a unique email address given direct access to one or more Dalbumi accounts. A role is assigned to a user to enable a list of privileges, and a user may have access to many roles. Here, I have access to production support and support roles. By default, the first person assigned to account is automatically given the administrator role and this can be overridden. A privilege is a right reserved to perform actions in a specific area in the Dell Boomi platform. Some privileges are process deployment, which allows us to deploy a process to atoms or an environment, atom management, which, is, which allows us to access the atom management menu, user support, this administers Boomi Assure data. Now notice, the production support user has access to both process deployment and atom management while the support user has access to Boomi Assure. Since I have access to both roles, I have access to all three privileges. To learn more about privileges defined for a role, visit our reference guide and look under Account and User Management, User Management, and User Roles and Privileges. We are going to learn how to grant a user role containing many privileges. To begin, we will add a user to an account. To do this, we will go to Atom Management, which is located under the Setup menu, and then we will go to the User Management menu. We're going to click on the plus symbol, which is directly below the Users tab. To add a new user, we must provide four pieces of information. The first is the email address. Next is the first name of the user and then the last name of the user. The final is the user role or roles. Now a single user can have many and different roles in many environments. Atomsphere includes four default roles and privileges. The Atomsphere default roles are administrator, standard user, production support, and support. If these roles do not fit your need, you can create custom roles for your account. New users will receive a welcome email and temporary password to log into their Dell Boomi account and must change it during their first login. Existing users can change their password on the User Information tab. If the user already has access to another Dell Boomi account, he receives an email notifying access to the new account. In this example, we're adding a new user, boomy.user at gmail.com to our account. This new Boomi user is also sent an email with our login credentials. This is a sample email notifying the new user with their login credentials and access to their account. If you're an existing user and have been added to an additional Atomsphere account, this is the email that is triggered. In addition to adding a user, we can also edit a user by selecting the user and changing their role. So let's change the Boomi user from standard support to production support. The new role does not go into effect until the user logs out and back into the system. The permissions go into effect when either the user logs out or performs a refresh. The user is also not notified via email that their permissions have changed. Finally, we can remove a user by selecting the user and the Remove button. A message asking if we want to remove the user from the account is displayed. Now, once it is removed, it cannot be undone and the user does not receive an email. So I'm going to demonstrate exercise number three, which is to add a new user, and exercise number four, which is to modify the new user's role. We will begin on exercise three, page six. We will be creating a new user.
we will go into the setup menu, come down to user access, we have user management. We'll click on the plus symbol to add our user. We're going to give this user standard user access. We click OK. A message is sent out. It says registered user, your dot name at gmail.com. This is a brand new user, so we have sent an email to the user with their login credentials. We're going to do exercise number four. We're going to modify this new user. We highlight the, the account and we click on the pencil. We get a pop-up automatically. Now we can modify uh, the roles of the user. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to assign this user two roles. We're going to give them production support and standard user. Now it's your turn to do exercise three, add a new user, and exercise four, modify a user's role. When we come back, we'll be talking about privileges.